Okay, this is a really quick video compared to many of my so-called really quick videos on how to make your own uh, wire spooler. Um, I, uh, at one point, was using uh, these. Uh, those are the ones you use with a, like a Dremel tool where you put a disc of sandpaper on them. And I would put them into the hole of the spool and then tighten them up and it worked okay but I only had two sizes that I could use so um, uh, after trying to find a reasonably priced, reasonably priced spool spooler or uh, winder um, and by reasonably priced I mean almost free um, I uh, realized in looking at one of them that all I needed were some cur or uh, tapered uh, corks or rubber things and so what I did was I ordered off of eBay um, these tapered uh, stoppers used uh, by, chemi by chemistry people um, in various sizes, uh, number five, number four, number three, and each one has a taper that starts at a certain millimeters and goes up to another millimeter. So I can do everything up to, I think, over just just up to an inch. Um, and so this is just a, some. Uh, by the way, the holes in the corks or the stoppers is a little smaller than three quarters of an inch which is actually good um, so if you get yourself a quarter inch threaded rod and uh, some flat washers and quarter twenty nuts um, you just thread these right on and then you hook them up to your drill and you have something for spooling wire um, uh, like those up there also if you're looking for a good um, source of spools if you want to get them for free you can try hitting up all your ace hardware stores um, I've gone to the one near my house and you can uh, sometimes they'll have empty spools out on the shelves from from either the wire, the chain, or even the rope area. And uh, if you ask them, they'll let you have them for free. Uh, I think one time I found three or four just sitting uh, near a, a door, and they let me have them. Um, but if you can't do that, then you can actually order these in uh, lots of like 10 or 20 or more off of Amazon. Um, various sizes and shapes and so that's what I did is I bought 10 of these ones you see right here so that whenever I get random lengths of wire and I want to store them up a little prop a little better um, I can put them on these so that's just a quick little tip